Matthew Stafford, the number one pick in the 2009 draft by the Lions, and still not done yet. Aaron Donald went number 13 in 2013, which means this is the first time since the Rams were in St. Louis that they have headed into a season without their defensive superstar. Welcome back to the Insiders, Tom Pellicero, alongside Steve White. Steve, you're out there in L.A. This is a big tax for the Rams. They also lost their defensive coordinator, Raheem Morris, who's now the Falcons head coach. So rebooting defensively in multiple ways. How do they move forward? And still be the same type of defense without Aaron Donald. Well, it, it won't be. And, you know, Aaron Donald was the ultimate kingmaker. Look at how many people who've played next to him who've gone on to do great things and make big money. Well, he's not there now. So let's see if Byron Young, the defensive end who had eight sacks as a rookie last year, or Kobe Turner, who finished third overall in the NFL. NFL's defensive rookie of the year candidate who had nine sacks at defensive tackle. Let's see if they can continue to develop without the kingmaker Aaron Donald playing alongside of them. But Tom, as you mentioned with the change of Chris Shula to defensive coordinator, there's uncertainty at every level as they're formulating this roster, especially the secondary. One thing that the Rams did, it's kind of a, a looked over free agent move, was they signed Bill's veteran quarterback, Tredavious White. Remember in 2019, he led the NFL in interceptions. He's coming off an ACL tear. He was only able to walk through on the back end of the Rams OTAs, but they think eventually by the start of, of the season, not necessarily training camp, he can factor in with Darius Williams and Kobe Turner at corner. Sean McVay also told me when it comes to Kobe Turner, the third-year player out of South Carolina State, the most improved player on the roster. So that's something that they like about their secondary, which is still a little bit unsettled. That new Rams defense will make its debut September 8th in primetime against Matthew Stafford's old team, the Lions. Steve, thank you very much.